The Flower Diamond Sutra, Universal Worthies Conduct, Chapter Thirty Six. Commentary, Universal Worthies Conduct, Chapter Number Thirty Six in the Flower Diamond Sutra, for the most part, describes the great conduct cultivated by Universal Worthy Bodhisattva of Great Conduct. Sutra at that time, Universal Worthy Bodhisattva Masatva again. Addressed the great multitude of all the bodhisattvas, saying, "Disciples of the Buddha, the way this has been proclaimed is just a general discussion of a small portion of the third karma state that fits the capacity and disposition of living beings. Why is that? All Buddhas won't all at once appear in the world for the sake of all living beings who lack wisdom and do evil, who can kill it." A self and what belongs to a self who are attached to the body, who are upside down and doubt, who hold different views and make discriminations, who are constantly interactive with all bonds and fetters, who flow along with birth and death and leave the path of the thus come on far behind. Disciples of the Buddha, I have not seen any such drama as the great offense and mistake of bodhisattvas. Giving rise to thoughts of anger towards other bodhisattvas. Why is that? Disciples of the Buddha, if bodhisattvas were to give rise to thoughts of anger and hatred towards other bodhisattvas, that would open doors to millions of obstructions. Commentary at that time, after chapter thirty-five had been spoken, and it was time to speak chapter thirty-six. Universal worthy bodhisattva Masatva. The great Bodhisattva again addressed the great multitude of all the Bodhisattvas in the Dharma assembly, saying, "All of you disciples of the Buddha, the way this preceding sutra text has been proclaimed is just a general discussion of a small portion of the third come one. One state that fits the capacity and disposition of living beings." The drama has been spoken tailor made to suit their basic dispositions, taking into consideration whether they have good rules and keen wisdom, and whether、um, their faculties are superior, average or inferior, sharp or dull. It has been a partial explanation of the Buddha state. Why is that? The reason is all Buddhas won't all at once appear in the world for the sake of all living beings. Who lack wisdom and do evil? Why are beings up so upside down that when you tell them to do good, to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, put to rest greed, hatred, and stupidity, they not only fail to do so but act in the opposite manner? It's because they don't have any wisdom that makes them upside down, so they create all kinds of evil karma. Who calculate a self and what belongs to a self? They do a lot of false thinking and reckoning, saying this is me and that belongs to me. Who are attached to the body, fearing the body will feel pain, be hungry, thirsty, cold or hot, considering it a priceless gem. Who are upside down and doubt. They do things in an inverted manner, knowing something is wrong but still wanting to do it. Which is just as upside down as knowing something is true yet still wanting to doubt it. They can be clearly aware that the Buddha the Buddha drama is inconceivable, yet still not pay attention to it and do upside down things. They have doubts about true principle, doubt the true drama spoken by the Buddha, and are beings who hold different views and make discriminations. See how the sutra gives a clear and accurate picture of the inside of our minds, just as if the sutra were a mirror. If we didn't hold different views and make discriminations, how would we fall? Why would we be unable to transcend the three realms, who are constantly interactive with all bonds and fetters, always involved with dramas of bondage, and unable to get free? They formed a corporation which cannot be dissolved, who flow along with the current of birth and death, dying and being reborn over and over again, 
the way one drifts with the waves of the sea, and they leave the path of the thirst come one far behind, daily getting further away and becoming daily more confused. For that reason, Buddhas come into the world to save living beings. The universal worthy Bodhisattva says, Disciples of the Buddha, I have not seen any such drama as the great offense and mistake of Bodhisattvas giving rise to thoughts and of anger towards other Bodhisattvas. He means, I have not seen a single drama which is that of Bodhisattvas giving rise to thoughts of anger towards other Bodhisattvas. No Bodhisattva ever has thoughts of anger towards another Bodhisattva. It would never happen. Why is that? Why would no Bodhisattva ever be angry with another Bodhisattva? Disciples of the Buddha, that's because if, hypothetically speaking, Bodhisattvas were to give rise to thoughts of anger and hatred towards other Bodhisattvas, that would open doors to millions of obstructions. Therefore, it is said, when one single thought of anger or hatred arises, the doors to a million obstructions fly open. If you produce one hateful, angry thought that opens the gates to all kinds of obstacles. Sutra, what are the million obstructions? They are the obstruction of not seeing body, the obstruction of not hearing proper drama, the obstruction of being born in the, a world that is not pure, the obstruction of being born in the evil destinies, the obstruction of being born in locations of difficulties, the obstruction of having many illnesses, the obstruction of being the object of such slander, the obstruction of being born in destinies where one is obstupes and dull, the obstruction of destroying and losing proper mindfulness, the, uh, the obstruction of being deficient in wisdom, obstruction of the eyes, obstruction of the ears, obstruction of the nose, obstruction of the tongue, obstruction of the body, obstruction of the mind, the obstruction of evil advisors, the obstruction of evil companions and parties, the obstruction of liking to cultivate the small vehicle, the obstruction of liking to associate with the cause and bungle, the, the obstacle of not, being, not believing in or liking people of great awesome virtue, the obstruction of liking to dwell together with people whose views are far from proper, the obstruction of being born in an outside way household, the obstruction of dwelling in demonic states. Commentary When the million doors of obstructions fly open, what are the million obstructions? They are the obstruction of not seeing body, which means no seeing or hearing the Buddha drama, and so not hearing the Dharma doors of the way of enlightenment. The obstruction of never at any time hearing proper drama. An example is that there are people sitting right here during the lecturing of sutras and speaking of drama who nevertheless neither see or hear. They don't have any idea what the drama master is talking about because karmic obstacles are obstructing them. The obstruction of being born in the world that is not pure, such as the evil world of the five turbidities in which we now have been born. The obstruction of being born in the evil destinies, either that of Asuras or the destinies of animals, hungry ghosts or hell beings. The obstruction of being born in locations of difficulties, perhaps the difficulty of being born before or after a Buddha, the difficulty of birth in the northern continent of Uttarakuru, the difference of being deaf, dumb or blind, or in any number of places where there are many hardships and difficulties. The obstruction of having many illnesses. So you see, when people get sick all the time, it is a condition which obstructs the way, the obstruction of being the object of much slander, always having people tear you down. You can clearly be a cultivator of the way, yet they slander you and say you aren't someone who cultivates. The obstruction of being born in destinies where one is obtuse and dull. Being obtuse means being dense and not the least bit bright. 
and not understanding anything. Dull means very stupid, like a pig who doesn't have a le the least understanding of anything that's going on. After eating, it goes to sleep, and when it wakes up, it is again. It is until it's very plump, and then people kill it and devour its flesh. That's this obstruction. The obstruction of destroying and losing proper mindfulness. If you speak proper drama for these kinds of people, they won't believe it. But we'll believe if you speak Devin drama. The reason is that their proper mindfulness is lost and destroyed, so they lack proper knowledge and proper views, and a kind of comic obstacle is blocking them. The obstruction of being deficient in wisdom, not being clear about any situation, being obstructed, confused, and not waking up, which is an obstruction. Obstruction of the eyes, so one's eyes are blocked, and one does not see the Buddha, hear the drama, or encounter Sangha members. Obstruction of the ears, so one is deaf, or as if deaf, and again, does not hear the Buddha drama. Obstruction of the nose, so one cannot smell, and obstruction of the tongue, so one cannot taste flavors. Those are all obstructions. Along with the obstruction of the body and the obstruction of the mind, what we people need to fear the most is the obstruction of evil advisors. You can have been cultivating the Buddha drama very well, but then you encounter an evil advisor who uses flowery words and clever phrases and talks up and down, back and forth, destroying your faith in proper drama, convincing you to believe in Devin draws. Of Devon knowledge and Devon views. That's why we need to draw near good knowing advisors and stay far away from evil advisors who are always gossiping about rights and wrongs. The obstruction of evil companions and parties, having evil buddies who team up with you to form factions and splinter groups. Examples are these or that current Black Panther Party. White Panther Party, this or that Ghost Party, German Party, Wolf Party, Tiger Party, those are all evil companions and cliques. The obstruction of liking to cultivate to cultivate the small vehicle instead of studying and practicing great vehicle Buddha drama. Such people say the southern transmission is true, while the northern transmission is false. When that kind of discrimination arises in the mind, it's because of this obstruction, the obstruction of liking to associate with the cause of anvango, with the unspeakably crude people who don't understand true principle at all. Those heads are full of vulgarity and grossness, unbearable crude. The obstacle of not believing in. Or liking people of great awesome virtue, that is having no faith in great vehicle bodhisattvas, which is an obstacle too. The obstruction of liking to dwell together with people whose views are far from proper, enjoying living with people who hold different knowledge and different views. The obstruction of being born in an outside way household, being born in a clan of externalists. With the outside way customs and observances, so one becomes confused and loses one's resolve for body. Just take a look: the obstruction of dwelling in demonic states, the kinds of states obtained by demons, which obstruct one's cultivation of the way. So you have to be extremely careful not to give rise to thoughts of anger and hatred. For as soon as one angry, hateful thought arises. Doors of a million obstructions open up. Sutra, the obstruction of being distant from the Buddha's proper teaching, the obstruction of not seeing good companions, the obstruction of finding it hard to plant good roots, the obstruction of increasing in unwholesome dramas, the obstruction of being in low and violent situations, the obstruction of being born in a border region. The obstruction of being born in a household of evil people, the obstruction of being born among evil spirits, evil dragons, evil yakshas, evil gandavas, 
evil asuras, evil garudas, evil kinaras, evil mahoragas, or evil rakshasas. The obstruction of not liking the Buddha Dharma, the obstruction of practicing dharmas of foolish youths, the obstruction of having fond attachment to the small vehicle, the obstruction of not liking the great vehicle, the obstruction of one's nature being often startled and alarmed, the obstruction of one's mind being constantly worried and troubled, the obstruction of fondly clinging to birth and death, the obstruction of not concentrating on the Buddha Dharma, the obstruction of not liking to see or hear of the spiritual penetrations of self-mastery of a Buddha, the obstruction of not obtaining the faculties of a Bodhisattva, the obstruction of not cultivating the pure conduct of a Bodhisattva, the obstruction of shrinking back from the deep minds of a Bodhisattva, the obstruction of not making the great vows of a Bodhisattva, the obstruction of not making the resolve for all wisdom, the obstruction of being lax and neglecting the conduct of a Bodhisattva, the obstruction of not being able to purify and regulate all karmas, the obstruction of not being able to attract and hold great blessings, the obstruction of not being able to have the keen power of wisdom, the obstruction of being severed from vast great wisdom, the obstruction of not protecting and upholding all the practices of a Bodhisattva, the obstruction of liking to slander the words of those of all wisdom, the obstruction of leaving the body of all Buddhas far behind, the obstruction of liking to dwell in the states of all the arts of demons, the obstruction of not single-mindedly cultivating the states of a Buddha, the obstruction of not decisively making the vast vows of a Bodhisattva, the obstruction of not liking to dwell together with Bodhisattvas, the obstruction of not seeking the gurus of a Bodhisattva, the obstruction of one's nature harboring many views and doubts, the obstruction of one's nature constantly being stupid and dark because of not being able to practice a bodhisattva's fair and impartial giving, having the obstruction of not renouncing a rise because of not being able to hold the first common precepts, having the obstacle of breaking precepts arise because of not being able to enter the door of patience, having the obstruction of stupid, harmful hatred and anger arise.